Antivirus software pioneer, ex-fugitive and an eccentric millionaire, John McAfee running for the presidency of the United States as a third party candidate. Yet cyber warfare is now the means of war. My government is dysfunctional. For the 300 million other Americans, you are in the same boat with me. So stand with me to protect our freedom. John McAfee is a legendary computer wizard and cybersecurity pioneer. In the 1980s, he developed the first commercial antivirus program, now famous worldwide. His multi-million dollar fortune, however, took a huge hit following the collapse of the markets in 2008. But McAfee's spirit was unwavered by the loss. He now intends to run for the White House with his newly created Cyber Party. And uh, John McAfee explained to my colleague Katie Pilbeam the focal points of his campaign. I think cyber war will be far worse. The buildings will still be left intact, of course, but they will be uninhabitable. We won't have electricity or plumbing. We won't have any of the infrastructure necessary to inhabit these buildings. We will lose everything. There will be no money. There will be no record of your existence. They will be wiped out or, or, or manipulated and mixed up in some way that no one will know anything. We won't be able to communicate. It will be a horror beyond description, and it's upon us. China is a huge partner for the U.S. economically, of course. Um, in terms of cybersecurity, though, it's an enemy, really, isn't it? Um, there's been accusations, you know, back and forth. Um, but the U.S. government obviously has a lot to do with surveillance itself. It's been accused of cyber attacks, mass surveillance all around the globe. So should the U.S. be pointing fingers at people like China? America does a great deal of cyber espionage, but most of that is done against the American people. Our government has become paranoid and insane. Homeland Security, which is the organization that was established to protect us from foreign people, foreign governments and foreign enemies, instead has turned inward. It now asks me and every other American citizen to remove the kimono and let them dig into the most private parts of our lives so that they can protect me from the enemy by going, we need to look at you to make sure that you are not the enemy we are trying to protect you from. Democrats and Republicans, they're said to be as different as Coke and Pepsi. What's the difference in your opinion? Can you explain it to us? I don't think there's any difference really, because here's what happens. Um, no matter how left-leaning you are, which would be the Democratic Party, or how right-leaning you are, which would be the Republicans, it does not matter. When you become president, you are stuck in a, in a system that brings everybody to the center. And the same nonsense goes on and on and on. And in our system, when, when a Democrat becomes president and, and creates uh, major leftist programs, the next Republican comes in and reverses it. Do you see the insanity, the wasted effort of time, money and resources? What about Donald Trump then? We can't uh, go on without talking about him because he's been eating up a lot of um, headlines. Um, now he's obviously running for the White House. Yes. What's your take on business though? Because obviously yes. you're a businessman as well, aren't you? You've come from business, you're going into politics. Yes, Is I am. the American public tired of politicians or should one keep business out of politics as much as possible? I think he is ill prepared for the problems of this government. He is technologically incompetent. I'm sorry to say that, Mr. Trump, but you are. You have already stated that you have never written an email even. How can you then run a, con a country who is already in a cyber war. There are no other candidates, I'm afraid, that do have any knowledge whatsoever about the fundamental glue that is holding the world together now. One and thing that is impressive, though, about Mr. Trump is he seems to be kind of gaff-proof. Whatever he says, however crazy it is, he seems to still be doing okay in the polls, doesn't he? <laughs> he does. All right, till to come this hour.